Ernest Stevens Jr. is taking part in the Tribal Nation Summit. He is chairman and national spokesperson for the National Indian Gaming Association located here in Washington, D.C. Ernest, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's good to be here. Well, first, I want to get your reaction to the Biden administration's pledges. Is it enough? You know, it, it's to immediately fix what needs to be fixed, but it's, it's way more than the past. He's really reached out to Indian country and just established it. You saw on there the Secretary of Holland, Native American uh, secretary. We have a, a lot of different folks in the administration. So for us, it's never enough, but, but, but we are happy with the meeting today. We are happy with, most importantly, the, the showing of the tribal leaders from throughout Indian country. The best representation is the tribal leaders being there and being able to talk firsthand with the president, with the secretary, with the House and the Senate. It's just, it is amazing. So we have a long ways to go, but this is the best way to get here, through dialogue and commitment. And I, I think today is a great day. Well, what stood out to you as some of the most important commitments? You know, I think the commitment is dialogue and consultation and reaching out to Indian country and allowing our leaders to have the kind of dialogue so that we can let them know not only what we need for Indian country, but what we have done for this country. You know, going all the way back to our veterans, our veterans have saved, served in every major conflict from day one of this country, and we really need people to appreciate and respect that. And today, you know, uh, the 700,000 jobs that, that are generated through tribal government gaming, those kind of things that are, we were, pre-pandemic, we were the 11th highest employer in the United States of America, right up there with all the big employers. So now when we're, we're rebuilding, coming back, you know, I really think it says a lot for Indian country that we're willing to work with everybody, with our friends and our neighbors, and try to put America back together again while we continue to rebuild Indian country. Ernest, the Biden administration says that it wants to create, quote, lasting change. Any concerns at all, given that we've just witnessed a changeover in Congress and then we have another presidential election coming up in two years? You know, uh, no concerns. We're here. If you look into the crowd, you'll see those leaders are the ones here. We're ready to go to work. We've had changes in administration. We've dealt with this stuff historically. But we have never had this kind of presence in Washington, D.C., both in terms of the administration but in terms of the Native America, we are on every street corner here. We are the doctors, lawyers, the Indian leaders that are here to educate America about the true meaning of tribal sovereignty. Any concerns, though, about the time that it might take to implement some of these commitments? Because we're talking about some long-term goals here, infrastructure, health care. Um, what do you think that, how long that could take? Well, it's going to take a while, but this is a good place to start. This is, a, this is a great foundation for education and understanding. So Indian country really is excited to be able to put our, 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 our minds together and put things on the table and do our best to, because, you know, we're, we're planning for is seven generations. We have to build a better tomorrow for our children. So this is a great foundation. Again, we don't get scared from a, 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 a change of administration because we, we are bipartisan. We work both sides of the aisle. And, and we, we, we count on the tribal leaders to not understand politics, but understand the true meaning of our treaties, of, of tribes as government since, since long before there was the United States of America. This kind of uh, tribal government uh, appreciation is something that we can build on. We can help America understand if they listen. I think this administration is listening.